Nope. 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 I said I'm ready. Huh? Didn't you hear me? I said I'm ready. <laughs> that tickled! You guys thought Weevil Burn was cancer. Trust me, you guys haven't seen nothing yet. The art type I'm going to be showcasing in this video has a built in discount dual wield, a discount Tamias, a stronger version of White Rabbit, and to top it all off, Drowning Mirror Force is considered a core component of the deck. You have cancer. The art type I'm talking about is of course Yosenjus. Yosenjus are a very slow deck that aims to slowly beat down your opponent piece by piece while simultaneously making sure they get to have absolutely zero fun. My list runs four monsters. Karma 2 on summon allows you to normal summon another Yusenju monster with a different name. This card also can hit your opponent's life points directly, but damages half when doing so. And during the end phase of this card's normal summon, it is returned back to hand. Karma 3 is basically the same as 2, only instead of hitting your opponent's life points directly, this card allows you to search for any Yusenju card from your deck once you inflict battle damage to your opponent using a Yusenju card. Isna is simply a level 4 monster who once again can return itself to hand during the end phase. If you control a face up Yusenju monster, you can use this card's effect to draw one card. And the final monster we are running is Oyam. So this guy despite the wall of text is honestly really simple to use, as he's essentially just a hand trap that can special summon itself when your opponent attacks you directly. Whenever it battles an opponent's monster, its attack and defense become equal to the original attack of the monster it's battling. So unless your opponent has some kind of buff, they're not getting over this thing. And if that wasn't enough, once destroyed a battle, you may search for any Yusenju card in your deck and add it to hand. The last two cards I'll go through are two brand new trap cards. Secret Move is a trap card that can basically be used to negate just about anything, as long as you control a Yusenju monster which is kinda silly considering the art type returns all of its monsters back to hand. This is why we only run one copy of this card, as it is searchable so it makes a lot of sense to run at least one copy of, but generally the main trap you're going to be focusing on is Sword Sting. This card can be used when you have no monsters on the board. You can reveal two Yusenju monsters in your hand to return any two face up cards your opponent controls back to hand. So it's basically just a discounted dual wield that can't target back row. Alright guys, that's basically it for the Toying Part of this video. The rest of the video will just be 6 gameplays showing this deck list in action. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, comment if you have any questions or feedback, make sure to join my Discord down below. And if you happen to have a dollar lying around and wish to support me, feel free to click that join button down below to support me directly as well as gain access to a few little neat perks. Enjoy the gameplay!
Duel.
Duel. Hey, big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.